a critical view of the 50th century world. Coming out of Jupiter's exosphere, we discussed the second phase of the mission. But before we got on with the mission, we needed to wet the gill a little. So we decided to make a short stop at my dad's biker bar. We were all a one big family. Besides being a pleasure to socialize with the likes of us, it's necessary to supply and drink a few beers that only space bikers can gulp down in beer. Such is the bitterness of the juice. It is necessary not for the alcohol content, but for the nanobots that for us space bikers is essential to survive in space without a spacesuit. We had to drink a lot because we needed not only such nanobots but also a lot of water. It's from the water in our bodies that we get the oxygen to breathe in space. Alcohol only being there for the desired side effect. For both, it meant to go to war or to celebrate. Which was what we were actually going to do. To celebrate. At my dad's bar. The shackle bar in Amalthea. The choice of space bikers not wearing spacesuits comes from our biker and cowboy ancestors from millennia ago. The fact that our ancestors loved the feeling of total freedom and the feeling of the wind hit their faces. Here in space, we don't feel the wind, mostly. But that's the idea. This is, after all, just one more step to escape the dictatorship of the flesh and to be free. During the short trip to Amalthea, Elkren and I talked about the bosses of mega corporation, which have longevity of centuries. And also, we were talking about their life goals. Elkren was a little older than me. He has a sharp intellect, but he's a lone wolf, most people will say. We were great friends and we met in kindergarten when we were buzzing about the stuffed android we had as a girlfriend. Ah, my first big love. Anyway, Elkron was very critical of mega corporations. He felt it was unfair that research for longevity, immortality and invincibility was only available to some, when everyone should have that right. He says, in a civilization where there is a technology capable and available to all people to live forever and have and do whatever they wanted, I would choose, after being saturated with such abundance, to forget that I am immortal and thus live the whole process again of the rediscovery of life. I replied with the question, Elkren. Aren't you being contradictory right now? Dore intervenes in the conversation and says, What Elkron is saying sounds like a contradiction, but that's what might already be happening. Elkron and I are intrigued and Dore continues, Not only do we forget that we are immortal, we are already living the whole process of discovery, not only of life, but also the rediscovery of immortality itself. How to be immortal. Hence, you want to combat the so-called injustices of the mega corporations to somehow occupy yourself their niche, to occupy their quest for immortality. Isn't that right, Algren? Dore was our wise leader. He wasn't that old, but he was wise. That he was. And so he passes as being much older. Dore is a real leader. Any space biker liked to work with him and he had a giant reputation among the people's factions. I was his protégé, while he was teaching me and guiding me through the world of mercenaries. Burnan too was once Doris' apprentice and has followed him ever since. 
No one would ever guess that Dory welcomed him when Burnan was still a child. Burnan is like an armored tank that has an exoskeleton of metamaterials that disintegrates any mass that reaches its armor, starting from a certain speed. That is, he's a little vulnerable to lasers, but he's invincible against mass projectiles like rockets and bullets. Then we have the couple Medea and Zana. They share a history of assassins. Sometimes they are inseparable, literally. They can create a resonant frequency loop of light on their shields and thus activate their nanobots for their masses to merge and create a giant tumor of a certain kind. A technology that was invented because someone, somewhere, had a certain sexual fetish. And this is our fucking game. The Night Sailors.